Good day. This is part two of authentic intent. Joshua, man, you're a good you're a good guy. This uh, flat Earth shit. It's really hard to deal with. Uh, especially when you're talking to family. My godfather personally thinks I have an eating disorder and I have manic depression. All because I believe in flat earth. Uh, so I blocked him off my Facebook list. And I'm trying to... Uh, I don't know. It's it's hard. I I all these educated folks their brains I, I don't I don't even know how to describe it. Their brains have turned to mush. Literally mush. Like I, I can't even like when you can't critically think after you've had a university degree of some sort and you can't see with your own eyes you're mentally deranged or of some sort I, I don't even know how you can't think when someone says to you a globe head person or if you believe in the globe or the planet How you can't understand how you are not spinning at a thousand miles an hour. Or when you think you see a curve. People who have mental problems like when they hear voices. <laughs> or they think they see ghosts. They end up in hospitals. <laughs> That's where you should be, okay? People like Joshua on Authentic Intent, he needs to be put up on a pedestal because he is the one who should be running the capital of Minneapolis or Minnesota. Okay? Not these mental patients that uh, sit at their desks signing papers for whatever reason, whatever they're doing. Take 14 coffee breaks a day. Joshua, I don't know, man. You're the greatest guy, according to me, and keep up the great work. I wish I had the courage like you, and uh, someday I will. I do have uh, signage, as you would say, uh, on my car. I have Earth's flat written on my car on the back window. NASA's fake on the side windows. And I do what I can, but I'm going to try to get more courageous and go down to our legislative building, talk to a few people there, do what I can. <sighs> Take it easy, Joshua. Have a wonderful week.